out of the closet here. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, that made that sound right. Could, be, could you remember? <laughs> 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 there's a little more room up here. Um, We're better than that, like an open house. Hi, how are you? Hi, Debbie Carroll. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you as well. <laughs> I graduated from West Elso High School in 2011. I'm currently now enrolled in Belmont College. I'm taking communication and theater. Important. I'm a communications major myself. <laughs> Look where you are now. <laughs> uh, recently, I saw that you had voted for the uh, amendment that got rid of the dreamer. I recently just yeah, I did I didn't vote for that amendment because I'm not sympathetic for dreamers. I voted for that amendment because it defunded the president not enforcing the law. I think the president needs to enforce the laws as they are. If we want to fix the dreamers uh, problem, which I want to do because I'm working with Eric Cantor on the Kids Act, mm -hmm. we need to do it as a Congress and not just have the president make decisions unilaterally. That's giving the president more power than I think any man should have. So right. how would the Kids Act help this gentleman? The, the Kids Act uh, is in the process of being drafted. What it sh The intent of the Kids Act is to put the children who are brought across the, the border, uh, I think the age we're talking about is 15, we're still negotiating that, and younger, will give them a priority towards uh, getting citizenship and uh, move them up in the line. And I think you know, we spent our money educating you. You worked hard. You've done well in school. I think we need to have a military component for those who served honorably uh, in the military. Uh, you guys didn't do anything wrong. And you, do, uh, you need to come first. We've got to come up with something, though, that is acceptable and can pass uh, with a, a majority of Republicans and Democrats in the House and Senate, and the President can sign. And we're working hard to see if we can build uh, enough consensus with Republicans and Democrats to get that done. Well, sir, if I may say uh, real quick, very well-spoken plan. Um, my grandmother, Judy Grandmother Days, uh, she has type 2 diabetes, she's already lost a leg. Her days are numbered, and uh, you know, her daughter, my mother, might not be able to be there for her. I ask you, look in your heart and see what would you do to your family together? I know that this might be a well-thought-out plan, but sir, you have to help us unite our families. I look at you and I know that you are a little father. You are loved by your parents. And I know that you are a family and I look around all these pictures, it shows that you're also very charismatic. And I would be as far as willing to say if you would even meet my family. I'd be happy to meet your family. Listen, there there are a lot of issues. We have got to come up with the best solution for the long term situation I and I understand with the illness in your family it's an urgent need for for you guys and my heart goes out and if, if we make a bad decision and don't uh, come up with something that we can build a consensus around it'll further divide this country and we can potentially be back uh, with respect to the overall immigration system in this same boat 10 or 15 years down the road. So we've got to be thoughtful about it and unfortunately the legislative process, just like the judicial process, uh, works slow. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.